All right, tubers, just a little update on a push mower. I was telling you that my push mower was broke and we fixed up the errands, but now I gotta fix the push mower. Um, nowadays they make them, this is the new part, nowadays they make them out of plastic. This is, they call it a bumper assembly. As you can see, it's just a piece of plastic has a metal insert there with four slots in it on both sides but it wraps around the front part of the mower and has three bolts one two three it bolts it well it actually has five those three there and then the three on the bottom side right there there's one there's the other and then those three but why they make them out of plastic is beyond me because that's what holds the front wheels on and everybody knows and don't say you didn't do it because everybody watching this video has done it when grass gets clogged up under there what's the first thing they do they pick up push down on the handle there and bump the front wheels on the ground until it knocks the grass loose and well that's what happened here the wheels got bumped on the ground she's bumped them on the ground so much that she just busted this plastic off so we're going to take the plastic off and put this new thing dangled $34 part on this push mower uh, the mower's not very old it's less than two years we've been here right at two years we bought it Shortly after we moved in, maybe a couple months or, huh? Okay. I guess it didn't want to stay there. Anyway, I am going to put this part on and I'll uh, bring y'all back. But anyway, they're held on from the underside with three bolts and two bolts here. So a total of five bolts, and then you got to take these wheels and these bolts loose and put them on this new one. I will do that, and I will bring y'all back. All right, tubers, here it is. All I did was, like I said, to take it off, I took these three screws out of, or bolted from the back side of this frame into this front bumper. And then there's the two screws here and here that come up from the frame. And then all I did was take the bolts that hold the wheels on on the side that went in that second slot and replaced them back in there. But anyway, I don't know why they would put plastic to hold the front wheels on when we all know the first thing we do when we're mowing thick grass is we'll raise the lawnmower up and bang, it on the, bang the front wheels on the ground. Well, what's that going to do? It's going to break the plastic. They don't make them like they used to, guys. They make them out of plastic. But anyway, um, I'm going to hand this off to her. This is her favorite little push mower, so I'm gonna give it back to her so she can get busy mowing the backyard. What I couldn't get with the errands, or what my boys and her couldn't get with the errands, I should say. Um, but anyway, um, and then I'm gonna bring y'all back with a little short update on some things. I'll be back, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna do a little update here for you. Um, the other day y'all heard me tell y'all I went to an auction and I showed y'all part of the video of the stuff but there was some stuff inside the truck I didn't get out anyway this here is a four inch craftsman uh, four and one eighth inch sorry I stand corrected joiner planer five eighths horsepower 16,000 cuts per minute um, course it needs to be cleaned up but these things are like two hundred dollars at Sears at least um, you can get the bigger six inch which I don't really see a use in having a six inch for what I do I mean I may join some two inch stock if that nothing major I don't really do too much joining um, but anyway I picked that up at that auction for ten dollars and yes it does work i plugged it all in before i left and i also bought 
this sander. It's a desktop Delta. It's a Delta four inch belt, six inch disc sander. Um, it has the little sander here, a little plate, table or whatever that's adjustable. Um, anyway, I plugged it in and of course I didn't check this handle here and it wasn't engaged. So the belt was loose. When I plugged it in, it ripped the belt completely off. But anyway, it all turns, it works like it should. Um, like I said, I plugged both of them in before the auction was over. So I paid $10 for that. I paid $11 for that. So for $21, um, you can't touch the joiner planer for less than probably over a hundred bucks. And this one, I ordered one in Branson. Um, it was supposed to be shipped to my house, but it never showed up. I kept calling. They kept giving me this runaround story. So I had them credit back my account. And then a few weeks or months later, I end up going to an auction and pick one up for 11 bucks. So anyway, that'll be the next little item going to the shop. And let me walk over here and show y'all the yard from the other night. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Y'all couldn't hear me the other night because of the mower, but today you may not be able to hear me for the train. So I'll try to speak up so y'all can hear me. Anyway, I come over here the other night after getting the errands going. As you can see, the grass is at least a foot to a foot and a half tall. Um, but anyway, I come over here with the errands, and as you can tell, she mowed it down pretty good. I mean, we're talking a lawnmower that hadn't been running. I think the old man said it's been over 10 years. So it sat there, and that explains kind of 10 or 15 years, I think is what he said. So you could kind of understand why the carburetor was shot. But like I said, I it mowed pretty good. I mean, it mowed it down. I was really surprised. Um, it's got the same belts on it that I got when I picked it up, so I don't know how the belts held up that long. So, but uh, anyway, yeah, it it mowed pretty good. But anyway, uh, that's the update on that. The old irons are running pretty good. We just got through mowing the backyard with it, so I'm really I'm really amazed for a lawnmower that's been sitting for a long time. It said so long that the carburetor rusted in two. But anyway, um, I'm going to get a carburetor for it and I'm going to get a seat for it and I'm going to keep driving it. May eventually have to buy belts every once in a while when those belts wear out, but I think it'll make a good mower. And thanks for watching, y'all. All right, y'all. So I lied. Thought I'd bring y'all back for a short video. This is the bowl off of the errands. And as you can see, that's what was all in the bottom of that thing. Pretty nasty. And this is what the carburetor looked like. There's the pin. It is completely just, I mean, it's pretty bad. I don't know, I may be able to save it. I may get it tore apart and throw it in the parts or, or in the carburetor cleaner tank and be done with it. I'm gonna probably try that uh, uh, pine saw thing that Musty and them's doing, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, that carburetor's pretty well. And the funny thing is, the one that's on it now ain't much better shape than this one. So, anyway, yeah, it wasn't quite as, I mean, I scraped all the other one out. It was about as bad. I scraped it out and was able to get it all, the parts moving and working, so anyway, there's that. Thanks for watching, y'all.